two separate things. One of them happens in the moment of performance, and one of them happens beforehand. One of them is fixed, and one of them is variable. Just doesn't actually adequately describe the wide range of things that we're actually seeing happening. The other major conceptual advance that I think is in the literature already is an increasingly complex understanding of how interaction in music works. Um, and I think this is really absolutely something that so many people have been writing about that we, we do have a real sense of this now. Um, Ingrid Monson first coined the term intermusicality in the 1990s, uh, and that term has come up again and again. I use it. Most people I know who write about improvised music I think use it to describe uh, the ways that a player making music draws on other music from their memory, from what they hear in the moment of performance, draws on that interactive kind of experience in a lot of different kinds of ways. <laughs> その、え、相互作用性がどういうふうに働い、作用しているかということを理解することです。で、え、イングリッド・モーソンが1990年代からやり始めて私ももちろんやっていますけれども、え、その一人のプレイヤーが何かをすることで他のプレイヤーが何か
ハーモニーの分離があったりその音質の分離があったりそ,そういうその音楽作業の中でそういう分離があることで一つのまた音楽に凝集性が生まれるというそういう意味で分離ということも大事な概念になっています。Um, another sort of concept that's very social that comes up that I think is interesting、uh, To describe interaction is the idea of swarm intelligence. And this is drawn from studies of actually、uh, ants mostly, but also other kinds of insects. The idea that swarms of ants can accomplish remarkably complex tasks、uh, without, in fact, having a leader or a set of rules.、Um, but in fact, like in free improvisation,、uh, actually. They work together in fairly complex ways to make really very difficult things possible.、Um, and the individual members, each individual ant within that group, may in fact not know what the whole thing is that they're doing,、uh, but knows what it's doing and what its neighbors are doing and maybe how those relate to what their neighbors are doing. もう3つ目にスワームインテリジャンスというのがありましてこれは日本語に訳すと軍知能群れ知能と書いて軍知能また群れ知能というふうに訳すんですけれどもこれは例えばアリ,アリの巣作りのようなまたはその、えー、と渡り鳥がこう一緒に渡るというようなところから来てるんですけれどもこれを例えばその、えー即興する集団に当てはめる場合に、えー、そこにはその、えー、歴としてはその誰がリーダーというのはあまりないんですけれども、えー、自由な中でそれが行われているで例えば、えー、1匹のアリは全部のアリの巣の設計図を知っているわけではなくて自分がやっていること隣のアリ,がやアリさんがやっていることは見ているかもしれないけれど全体像は知らないけれどもでもいつの間にかそれが一つの、えー、アリの巣となってちゃんと機能するということが起こるわけです。Uh, and the last of these、uh, things that I think have come into the way people study this、um, more and more is the idea of emb- embodiment, especially in social embeddedness. The idea that、um, uh, the interaction that we do musically isn't just about sound, but in fact is about the ways that our bodies interact with one another.、And、actually, I was looking at the, the image of, of Daisuke's.、Um, uh, Jew's harp piece,、uh, and thinking that that looks physically、um, really interesting because it's enormously, uh, 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 I'll for it,、um, intimate to play a, a, an instrument like that with your lips touching another person's.、Um, And I think thinking about the body in that, thinking about that as something more than sound, but as something that a human body, two human bodies are doing together,、uh, is truly very interesting. と社会的な埋め込みというふうに訳されますが、えー、例えば例を挙げると、えー、今日大輔さんが「抗菌」ですからって音を出していたと思うんですけれどもそれじゃこれのことだと思いますあのさっきの配布資料の最後のページの口付け抗菌の写真あそうですね今日,今日,今日やってらっしゃったそのあのそれあの抗菌のそのなんだろうなその即興がその音が聞こえるだけじゃなくてそのテラスさんの体そのものがその音になって出てきたっていうことを感じましたで、えー、非常にその音を聞いたことで離れて物理的に離れていたんだけれどもとてもそのテラスさんを近く感じたインティマシーを感じた親密性を感じたということはこういうその音が体現されること身体化されること。で。Forward into something new. 
私のその。